these raccoons only need about three square blocks to live in. That means within that tiny, tiny area, they have all the food, water, and shelter, everything they need to survive, and it's in your backyard. Wildlife tracker Boone Smith travels the world studying animals and their habitats. He takes a special interest in small-scale ecosystems, known as microhabitats. These mini environments are everywhere and support a variety of organisms, especially in and around our homes. We've actually created the best raccoon habitat there is. And these guys know it, and they're here taking advantage of it every single night. What may shock you is the microhabitat that exists inside your home. Boone bravely enters this foreboding world. There are more creatures living in a single human house than there are total people on Earth. You might not see them, but they're there. In every room, furniture, and fabric of our lives. Humans are the foundation of an entire indoor food chain. At the bottom are the bugs that eat us. A colony of dust mites consumes up to five pounds of our dead skin a year. And with food comes waste. In fact, mite feces is one of our most common allergies. Even more creepy, carpet beetles. Nine out of 10 households have them. They eat dead skin, fingernails, dead bugs, just about anything that falls from above. Boone's in real trouble now. Tiny insects live in our beds. One third of the weight of the average pillow isn't just pillow, but includes bugs and their droppings. This army that can include bed bugs lives off of us. The food web is in full force, even in our home microhabitat. For every insect that feeds on us, there's another that eats it. Spiders eat those that eat us. And then small lizards love a good eight-legged snack. But there's often another animal still higher on the food chain. In this ecosystem, it's the copperhead that lives under the porch. We create this food chain with just our presence. When we create a micro world better than the wilderness, the wild is sure to move in with us. 